G'day, welcome back to the 40 channel. So, it's review time and it's time to learn a little bit more about the AC70 from Blue Eddy. Righto, so we've been using and playing around with this Blue Eddy for the last few weeks. The last time you saw me talk about this was when we took it out to the film set. Now that was a stack of fun and actually came in really, really handy. And it was supposed to really be a review on the solar panel system from Blue Eddy, which really performed really, really well, paired up with the AC70. Now, I just want to focus on the Blue Eddy AC70 today and put it through its paces in a workshop situation, just before we take it out for Easter and give it a really full-on off-grid pelt. So, so far what we've been using it for in the workshop is just a bit of lighting, charging all our cordless batteries just to keep it all going, just trying to put this ring through its paces if you had a blackout in a workshop situation. So far, it's performed as expected really, really well. This thing here is designed as a portable power station. So it's weighing just over 10 kilos, next to nothing. Really nice ergonomics on that back handle there, which I really love, that's carried through. And it is really designed to be taken out when you go camping, which we will be doing over Easter and giving it a really good run. So as I said, workshop situation, a thousand watts of power in this thing. Now that's fantastic with a 2000 watt uplift. What does that mean? Well, if you get a power surge of a tool that's just firing up, it should fire it up. Unfortunately, with my Blue Eddy, I haven't been able to achieve that. Righto, so we've got the Linisha bench top grinder actually running. It took a bit, and I'm gonna tell you how I got it doing it. But check out the power output. The power output is crazy. It's going from 860 to 920. Turn it off. Righto, so we were able to get the benchtop grinder Linishin running off the Blue Eddy, but we had to actually trick it. So what I actually did, so this is a disclaimer, I actually plugged it into mains power, turned on the Linisher, as it was running, turned it off, unplugged it, plugged it straight into the Blue Eddy, and the Blue Eddy took over. There was not enough power to fire this thing up straight off the Blue Eddy. But interestingly, it says the output is 560 watts, but we were pulling output with no load at 920 watts of power. If I had started grinding or using the linear and putting a load on it, this would have easily jumped up to over a thousand watts. It just shows your ID card on some of the equipment you buy for your workshop is not correct. So there you go. Again, this particular model isn't designed for what I'm trying for in the workshop, but it has come in really, really handy so far. Now, one of the cool things about this Blue Eddy is that it has seven outlets. That's pretty cool. But I do have to say that it's a thousand watts in total. That doesn't mean that you can go and plug in two items in here at a thousand watts and think you're gonna get it. It means that you can plug in a 500 watt item in the top and no more than a 500 watt item down below to really power it up. But again, if you go into that extremes and you really need to upgrade to the next model. On top of that is pure sine wave. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means that it gives you a constant smooth amount of energy flow out. Now getting onto the computer side of things, I have found this very handy in the workshop and in home, giving it a test, it's got a UPS. UPS, uninterrupted power supply. Now a lot of factories and a lot of workshops have these on their computer systems so that if they get a blackout, this thing kicks in instantly 20 milliseconds to keep that computer running and give you more than enough time to back all your data up and save it. Really handy if you're doing some editing for the 40 channel and you get a blackout and you haven't saved where you're up to and you just lost an hour's worth of editing. So I've learnt from that save every 15 minutes. Right, so here you can see my full power supply set up in the shed. So I've always got a little power bank going because the kids always steal that for their phones. Very important, my Bluetooth speaker, so we can have music going, enjoying music while we're in the shed. Uh, little UHFs, they always seem to be plugged in. 
but most importantly that I'm using it for, for everyday use in the shed, is my little charger system here. So this is a really cool little setup that Jack designed and built. So your cordless batteries. This would actually work really well with the UPS system because if you're using cordless battery tools all the time, which I do, just handy, not having to run leads and all that type of stuff. You can plug this in and then plug this into mains power and just charge all your batteries constantly. If you get a blackout or a power out, anything like that, your batteries will keep on charging and you don't have to worry about it. So really cool little system for the UPS there. Let's chuck our battery on charge. Righto, some of the other outlets we've got on this thing, which will come really handy when we go out camping. We've got USB-C. Now this USB-C has a 100 watt output, which means that you can charge your bigger electrical equipment, like your laptops, your cameras, your drones, straight out of the USB-C and not have to plug in and use the inverter. That's pretty cool. We've also got USB-A. They're five volts, 2.4 amps. So your normal USB-A to charge, your GoPros, your mobile phones, your little MP3 players, if they still exist, all that type of stuff. Now on top of that, you've got your normal AC car socket. Now this is a absolute lifesaver. Most portable stuff that goes out camping has one of these. Fans, fridges, lighting, all that stuff plugs straight into your little 12 volt socket there and this thing will run it beautifully. Now one of the cool things that I really loved about this, like I said last time, was the leads that you got with it. The one thing I do like about charging the Blue Eddy is it's very simple. So you've just got a mains plug, that's it. There's no funny little power adapters in between or anything like that. Everything's built into the Blue Eddy. Plug this straight into your Blue Eddy, straight into your mains power, bang, it's charging. But when you're traveling and when you're out camping like we're gonna be doing, every time you drive to campsite, you really wanna be able to plug in to your 12 volt socket in your car, use your alternator to charge this thing as you're driving. That is crucial, so thank you Blue Eddy for putting that lead in. That's really, really good. Righto, this has been used, it's a bit dusty and dirty. It's not one of those straight out of the box reviews and put on a bench and just read out what you've got. We're giving this real world testing because I think you guys deserve it. Not just out of the box and stand here talking like I have been. But I did need to run over bits and pieces. One thing that this has that is interesting is this little socket here. It's an earth lead socket. Interesting, so basically you can run an earth straight to this, screw it in, or you can screw in and jam straight into the earth just to give you that extra protection. Never seen that before on a portable power supply, so that's pretty cool, extra safety. A 768 watt lithium battery in here. So that's watt hours, so huge battery, huge power supply, gives you long run times. Now charging, all lithium batteries, like all batteries, have a life cycle. These, 3,000 cycles, which means you can charge this thing up to 3,000 times. I don't even think I'm up to 10 full charges on this thing yet. So I've got a long way to go. And on top of that, just to make sure to give you a little bit more, they give you a five year warranty. That's pretty decent for a portable power supply that gets dragged around from workshops to cars to campsites. It'll be really interesting to see how this thing is still cracking along in five years time. Righto, the display on the Blue Eddy. But it gives you a cool information display here and lets you know exactly what's going on with the touch of a button and very visual and easy to read. Tells you how much power you've got coming in, if you've got it charging, how much power you've got going out with the item you're using. Now, like I said, when I plugged it into some of the bigger workshop items, it just trips out. So it has a protection overload limit in it too. So you're not gonna destroy the battery system or your portable power supply if you exceed the thousand watt usage, which is really, really handy because I've tried it on nearly everything in my workshop that is over a thousand watts just to see if I could make it work. Like I said, this thing is designed to be portable and taken out camping, but it has come in really, really handy if you've got a blackout or even in a remote workshop, you can charge all your cordless battery systems. You can run all your lighting to run your workshop. And to be honest, 
that's more than enough to be able to do any rebuilding on any vehicles or anything else that you're doing in your workshop. Cordless gear is incredible these days and really, really handy. Righto, so that is the Blue Eddy AC70 in a workshop home environment. What a awesome little piece of kit. Like I said, a thousand watts, so don't try to push it any more than that, otherwise you might just get disappointed. You gotta remember what this thing is designed for and what it's built for. And if you're looking for a medium sized portable power system, then the AC70 will be perfect for your setup. But if you're looking for something a whole stack bigger, you can jump on the Blue Eater webpage and you'll see that they actually accommodate pretty much every single one of your needs in off-grid and portable power supplies. Right now, let's pack this up with the rest of the Easter camping gear and we're gonna head out. We're gonna test this with caravan and tenting and swagging for a four day weekend, charging with solar. So keep your eyes open for that in about another two to three weeks time. Anyway guys, really appreciate your time and until next time, thanks for watching.